Welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is we will integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins. If you remember that in the previous lecture we have discussed about the Sonar Cube and how to install the Sonar Cube in Ubuntu machines. Now in this lecture we are going to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins so that Whenever we execute any job, it should be able to run the sonar queue for code quality analysis. And once it is passed that particular code which we are going to execute, when it is passed, then you can deploy the code in respective environments or do further processing. So for this, I have list down the tools and servers that required for these activities. So the GitHub basically uh, used to integrate with Jenkins and Jenkins will get the code from here. Configure SonarCube in Jenkins server. Install the SonarCube plugin. We'll also install the SonarCube scanner to execute the code. And here is the sonar cube. Sonar cube, sonar cube will be used for code analysis. We will generate the authentication token over here. We will also use the Maven to build the code and execute the sonar cube for code analysis. First thing we need to keep the ready for both sonar cube and Jenkins server. So let me show you. I have kept ready for both. So this is our uh, sonar cube server. Okay. So where we have already installed the sonar cube and how to install the sonar sonar cube I have already shown in my previous video that is lecture number 35 and the name is sonar cube tutorial. If you don't see that please uh, go through that uh, previous lecture then watch this video. Okay. And this is our uh, Jenkins server. Okay, so our Jenkins server, uh, we have installed the Jenkins and our Jenkins dashboard is also ready. So this is our Jenkins dashboard, which I have kept ready for this. And also Sonar Cube is up and running. Okay. So on the Sonar Cube server, so basically we will generate the sonar cube token to authenticate with Jenkins. On Jenkins server, install the sonar cube plugin. We will install the solar sonar cube plugin over here and configure sonar cube credential. Credential is nothing but a sonar cube token will configure in the Jenkins server. Then uh, we will add the sonar cube into Jenkins uh, configure system and then install the sonar cube scanner as i told so this is a required to run the jenkins server for code analysis and finally we will run the pipeline job so we will create a pipeline job basically it will be a declarative pipeline we'll write a code and we'll set a path where maven is installed because we are using to we are using the maven to build and also integrate with github to get the code and built here using the maven and finally we'll execute the sonar queue for code analysis okay so let's do that so first we'll first generate the code generate and copy the sonar queue authentication token okay so we'll go to this uh, sonar queue page so first we will generate the authentication tokens, click over here and we'll go to my account and security. So just put the generate token, you can put the sonar cube, gen sonar cube. Sonar cube, gen cube. Token tab, you can select the global analysis token and it will expire on 30 days. So just click the generate. 
so I have generated it just copy this one and keep somewhere else in your okay so now go to the Jenkins server so Jenkins dashboard we have okay and here we will install the sonar cube scanner first we will install the sonar cube plugin okay so go to manage Jenkins then plugin available plugin so just search sonar cube sonar cube scanner click over here and start without restart it is installing now so it is installed so I would suggest better to restart this one Again go to manage Jenkins and then manage credential. So here is the credentials. Under Jenkins, global credential. Under Jenkins, so global credential, add credential. So here kind you can select the secret text. Okay and secret you have already generated that authentication token just paste over here and here the id you can put sonar q id sonar q id description put the same yeah sonar q token rather than id sonar cube token so that you can easily identify description would be the same okay and just create it or okay you can say yeah so we have added now authentication token again go to the manage gene key and here in the configuration system just click over here as we have uh, installed the sonar cube uh, so we'll go to the so it will reflect the sonar cube server so sonar cube server it is showing we'll enable the check and add the sonar cube so the name you can put the sonar cube the version which, which we have sonar cube version i have of install 9.9.0 .9 okay and here the url of the sonar cube so sonar cube url we have this one just remove this part we need up to this okay server authentication token uh, just select the sonar cube token I think sonar cube token yes okay now apply and save it now we will install the sonar cube scanner so for this we have to go to the manage Jenkins again under this manage Jenkins we will go to the global tool configuration so here uh, global tool is this one 
scroll down and you see the sonar cube sonar cube scanner so this this one is not for ms build this is sonar cube scanner okay so we will click over here sonar cube scanner and uh, just install automatically so sonar cube scanner you put the name sonar cube scanner basically version we are using sonar cube scanner dot six dot two so this version we are using four dot eight dot zero sorry four dot eight eight dot zero so this version we are using so just put our name over the same name over here right and then apply and then save now all configuration part we have done so we will just create a job on Jenkins dashboard so go to the Jenkins dashboard yes and we will create a job sonar cube pipeline We'll select the pipeline. Pipeline project. Okay. And click OK. We will write over here the script. Okay, so I have already written. I just copy. I'll explain in details what exactly this is. I'll copy and paste over here yeah so basically this is this is our pipeline declarative pipeline script okay so here we have set the environment path okay so it is maven maven where wherever the maven is installed so that path we have mentioned over there apache maven so i let you know let let me show you where it is basically echo dollar path so here it is showing maven okay so slash opt slash apache maven 3.9.9.2 slash b so this is what i have mentioned over here so this is the path where maven is installed and then stages different stages is there the first stage basically we are getting the code okay so code from where where we are getting we are getting from the uh, github so i just copy it from here and paste over there right so this is our github url so i wanted to uh, get the code whatever the code i have written over here in the uh, github so this is our two files are there one is the docker file and one is the pom file pom file is required if you are executing uh, the code with uh, maven then we need to uh, pom file pom.xml so this is the code which i have written right okay now next one is uh, so uh, we are building this one by using the maven so maven clean install so we will build it next stage and the this and uh, another stage is the sonar cube analysis okay so the step will be with uh, sonar environment so this is the version number sonar cube version which we have installed and finally uh, we will execute this sonar cube and uh, for code analysis using the uh, mbn command sonar happen uh, sonar colon sonar right so this is what i have written okay so i think this what it is showing something is wrong so that's why it is indicating i hope it should clear right 
right okay and all braces is probably equal and same right so let's apply now yeah it's gone now so save it okay so it's a saved already so we have written the code as well okay and uh, now uh, we'll execute build it let's see so here it is building just yeah the first stage is we have already got a success and it is building now so build is also success yes log it showing success now for sonar it is executing the sonar queue for analysis code analysis so code is analyzing now yes so it is showing success now so all is everything is success let's check over here console output yes it is showing success so build successfully and uh, let me check yes it is success and if you see that in the sonar just refresh this one so you see the project it is showing past okay so no vulnerability no hot spot reviewed code smell zero and bugs are zero so this code has been passed successfully okay so this is the way to integrate sonar cube with jenkins and run the code quality analysis report so these are basically reports you can say you can say okay so there are other things also you can get rules some rules are also mentioned and quality profile quality gate everything yeah. is seems fine okay so so we have completed now for this uh, uh, sonar cube integration with jenkins and we the all code quad, code, uh, code quality analysis report also we have seen and everything is passed so okay uh, right so thank you guys we'll meet again with the new new video thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please